What's up YouTube? This is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you today with a pretty cool product opening. And I know you guys have already seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! Gear Gear Rampage structure deck opened probably on many channels from a long time ago, including probably on my own. But I thought this was pretty special because I was at a local Dollar Tree out here in Southern California. Uh, actually the Dollar Tree out near the city of Highland, like right between Highland and Redlands. Uh, off of the 210 freeway. Anyways, I saw this at the Dollar Tree for just one dollar and I had to get it. I actually went up to the clerks and I asked them, hey, do you guys have any more of these? And they kind of looked at me like, why are you bothering me? Because, you know, if you're working, I guess, at no offense to anyone working at Dollar Tree, but I, I'm guessing it's probably not the best job in the world and they just did not want to deal with me. Anyways, I thought what I would go ahead and do is go ahead and open this for you guys here on camera since I was actually able to find this at one of those places. I have seen uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs at Dollar Tree before in the past, but I've never seen a structure deck. And I figure, how bad could it be for $1? Uh, I mean, there's got to be some pretty good, uh, cool cards inside the Gear Gear structure deck. I haven't uh, opened one of these in a very long time, so I don't exactly remember everything that's in it. So we're going to quickly go ahead and go through it, and then... Uh, you know, see what there is. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make my buddy back at least off of the $1 investment. So, of course, we get our three, oh, excuse me, four holographic cards. Nice. And uh, let's see, we got some Gergianos and some Mark IIs. Two of them. Nice. One accelerator. I would think you would need more than that for the deck. Uh, Arsenal and then Gergia armor. I remember when this card was actually uh, quite a good investment to make. Oh, gadgets even. Two greens. Two reds and two yellows. It'd be kind of funny if you only got like uh, two greens, two reds, and then one yellow or something like that. Oh, ancient gear stuff. I don't know why they always throw this. Whenever there's like a machine deck, they always feel the need to throw in ancient gear stuff as if like somebody's going to try and rebust out that archetype or something like that. Car Trooper. Very cool. Swift Scarecrow. Some pretty nice stuff. And then we got the filler cards like Oil Man, of course. Uh, Giant Rat. Oh, you get two of them. Nice. Gear Town. There's like Two gear towns, what? <laughs> That's kind of strange to me because there is only like uh, two gear gear monsters in there. Limiter, at least that kind of goes with machines a little bit better. Fisher and Smashing Ground, old school kind of staple-ish cards. Double summon, creature swap, terraforming. Oh, gear gear gear, this card used to be worth a little something. You know, in its original form, I should say. Uh, Metal Morph, rare Metal Morph, rollout. And then finally we have a common gear gig and X. So overall, I think this is a really good structure deck. It just came out a little bit past the Archetypes Prime, which I guess is something that Konami does like to do. They usually re-release once people have kind of moved on past that deck. In any event, you really can't go wrong for a $1 investment. So if there's any of you guys out there who live near a Dollar Tree, I would highly suggest that you journey out to it and see if they have any Yu-Gi-Oh product, either the structure deck that I was able to find or Yu-Gi-Oh packs, because even a pack for a dollar is a pretty good investment in my book. Anyhow, down in the comment section below, remember to let me know what the best Yu-Gi-Oh! deal you ever found at a retail store was. And I guess that's going to do it for now. This is Galactic God, out.